Hey guys, Mr. Beetlebum here. And you have your chaffy now. If you've uh, played the game long enough, you got your super chaffy in the garage. You've had it over the weekend. You've had time to play it. I'm wondering, what do you think about it? A lot of CCs and uh, streamers and whatnot are saying that they don't like it and that it's not good. Um, so I'm kind of curious as to what you guys think. Stay tuned and I'll let you know what I think about the tank and I'll show you some gameplay. All right, so you've had your Chaffee in the garage over the weekend. You've been playing it a bunch. And I'm guessing you either like it or you hate it. <laughs> what a stretch. <laughs> Anyways, um, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's a real good tank. I'm very happy with it. Um, over the moon. Um, and I'll tell you why. First of all, there's a couple things that I've been noticing. I've been, I decided, I, at first I was going to rush this video out and let everyone know, you know, be the first. And I said, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm curious what other people are thinking. Right away, once I got into it, I started realizing, I think this is going to be a bit of an issue for a lot of players. And sure enough, I'm seeing, you know, tons of chaff, super chaffies the first day it comes out and over the weekend. Tons. You know what I'm talking about. There's tons of them out there. But I'm seeing a lot of them with no tank skins or camo. And just by the way they play, it's kind of really obvious where there's a lot of them where people just got their chaffy and they just took the crew that came with it uh, at 100% and started training up. In other words, they didn't prep for it. Um, and as you see right up here, you're going to see my cruise skill. And I have that there for a reason. I made sure that I put part of the video is of me and my garage here with the Chaffee and its crew. Okay. And, and I did that because this is something that I always preach <laughs> when I'm talking during streams or YouTube videos. I always keep saying, you know, guys, it's if you're going to play a, a light tank or as I call them, scouts, um, you have to make sure that you have real good crew skills. You have to get your crew skills up because it's the only thing that's going to give you an advantage over the other scouts out there. And if you're not up to the level of what they have in regards to crew skills, brother, you just, uh, you're going to be a handicapped player, uh, meaning you're just going to not be able to perform as well as they are because they're going to outspot you right away. So what we were doing, and I made a video about it, and we talked about it on stream. You guys already know. I played my American T-78 uh, tank destroyer, and I used that for a crew trainer and then brought them over into the Super Chaffee that you see right here. Um, so this is a normal setup. We're working on finishing our fourth crew skills. This is when I say, you know, okay, you're definitely ready to rock and roll. Like, you should have. Like, it's better to get more. Um, and especially depending on how the crew loadout is, meaning um, does your commander have the situational awareness and all the radio operator stuff, or do you have a separate radio operator? Where, as you see here, we do have a, uh, a separate one. So because we have a separate one, that means that my radio operator here can have situational awareness down at number two, and my commander can have it at number three, right behind uh, six cents, of course. So we've got the view range all maxed out. We've got the concealment almost maxed out. You can see that there's two of them here that are both just finishing off like 84% and 71%. So they're close. So anyways, two, those are the two things uh, that I've noticed uh, about it. Not a lot of crew skins and not a lot of crew skills. This is just guessing though, and it's by years of playing the game and just looking at how uh, the enemy tanks or even the guys on my own team are playing, and it's kind of obvious. Then there's one more thing. A lot of people are talking about how bad this tank is because of the gun. A lot of people are basically just dissing it because it's not, you know, it doesn't have good DPM and all that kind of stuff. Here's the thing that really confused me. One of the biggest guys out there in the market, uh, you know, we all know who we're talking about, the big man himself. Uh, well, he made a replay, uh, or sorry, a review on this tank, and he used the, t the, the T37, which is fine, 
and then also use the crumb home B. I'm like, dude, you're obviously looking the wrong way. You're thinking of this thing as a brawler. Guys, let me tell you, this is not a brawler, okay? It, you're going to see in the gameplay that I have where, yeah, actually the gameplay I have, it's kind of funny. I'm talking about how it's really a scout, but yet in this one match, it just, you know, we, it was crazy. We got lucky. Uh, things kind of all just happened to fall in place, I guess, you know. And yeah, we had a, a real good game. But the reality is, is I've been having a lot of games. My, what is, let's check it out, man. 61% is the win rate on this thing. Um, and we're doing really good with it. And it's simply because I'm playing as a passive scout up front, like at the beginning. Take this thing out. It's got great concealment numbers, guys. It's It's got great view range, you know. Is it the best? No, it's not, of course. But it's really good. And you, as long as your cruise skills are good, you can do really well as a passive scout. You can rush out to that bush that you know about and just sit in there, make sure you're completely concealed, you know. And when it's time to move, move. <clears throat> and keep just keep lighting up them tanks for your team, man. Uh, I've been getting a ton of whispers after games. Saying, hey, way to go, man. You know, eight, nine, 11 even spots, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, what can I say, man? I'm I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a great little light tank. I think it's kind of got a bad rap, rap so far. I think people are really just forgetting, you know, lights are, you know, scouts. They have passive concealment for a reason. Um, and if you use it that way, guys, you can have a real good time with this tank, man. Uh, get your crew skills up on whatever comfortable tank. Meaning if you're comfortable in TDs, play it as a t in a TD. Get your crew skills up and then transfer it over. It's going to cost you the same amount to transfer it from a light to, to this tank or a TD to this tank. If you're better in mediums, play it in a medium. You know, get the crew levels up in a medium. <laughs> Just, you know pick the wrong thing for a medium, concealment and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. I'm just saying whatever tank you feel comfortable in, that's the one that you train your crew in. And then transfer it over and put it into your Super Chaffee. You might find out that when you get your crew skills up uh, and, and you play passively that you might just like this. Anyways, that's it, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to harp on it too much. I ju it just kind of really uh, threw me off a little bit. How everyone's just throwing this thing under the tracks. <laughs> you know, they're just totally dissing this poor tank as a terrible tank. When, you know, Crom B. You know, it's not supposed to be a brawler. It's not supposed to be a medium. It's a freaking scout, man. Anyways, enough of me laughing. Let's uh, let's check it out in uh, game. So here we are, we're on uh, Tundra, we're in the Chaffee, and uh, <laughs> it's an interesting match to say, at least. sorry I'm laughing here, um, it was kind of fun, I guess, I gotta admit, you know, we got a lot of luck as well in this, uh, in this match, uh, but of course what we do right away to start off is we come over to where you see me right now, I'm doing this simply to spot. As a light tank, you always want to rush out, try to get to a location where you can do a bunch of spotting for your team, and uh, let them know basically where where all the tanks are going on the enemy team. Now, this is interesting. Like I gotta say, there's two AT7s. Um, they're not platooning. They just happen to be, you know, on the same team, and they happen to be driving like, you know, as if they're played by the same player almost. Look at this, they stop the same. It reminds me of uh, box players or multi-boxing. Uh, I'm not saying that that's what's happening. It's probably not. It's just kind of funny how they're both driving the same way and all that kind of stuff. And of course my team's like, oh no, we got two AT7s. Anyways, so we've done some spotting and now we've got this heavy over here, this KB1S. He's a little far forward. Uh, we're going to try to help him here. We bounce a shot here or miss a shot, I should say. Uh, give him a little bit of damage here. Now the KV1S, he's getting he's getting focused. You know, he's probably got the fire coming in from the Artie. Someone hits him here and lights him on fire in a second. Uh, we don't have the shot that we're going to wait. This guy is making the classic mistake of just doing the same rhythm. Um, the guy that we're shooting at here. You've got to try to make your cadence off so that, you know, you're ne never sure where when, uh, when they're going to pop out. So I've been watching the mini map, of course. Uh, you have to do that when you're playing a light tank. Actually, you have to do it all any tank, but especially when you're playing light. You gotta know what's going on around you. Uh, I see that the AT7s are coming. Uh, I know that I'm like just butter for them. 
So I'm out of the way. Uh, the KV-1S, he's very focused, unfortunately, on one tank. Someone finally kills the uh, Crusader, and he just doesn't have time to move away. He's already been whittled down to next to nothing. So now it's me uh, in an A46. I see that there's an A46 here who's trying to snipe at him. Um, and for some reason, this AT-7 is not reacting. He's not tractor in, he's just not reacting. So that's one point where we got lucky. Uh, so we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna try to, uh, you know, finish him off. The Artie's gonna take him out here in a second, I believe. Boom, baby! There you go. Uh, move on to the next one, rinse and repeat. We're still tied 3-3. Uh, now they're ahead. So, you know, it's time to start moving here. Now I noticed that we've got a T-29 over there. So what I did is I positioned myself. I'm not sure if you saw. I positioned myself so I was behind the AT-7. And once I saw that he shot, then I pulled back here. Now I got, uh, we got a Super Chaffee coming up. I tried to get a shot over top of the dead AT-7 to start with, but it didn't work. Uh, he's looking over at the uh, the 46 there. So we, we go up and down, give him a couple shots. Uh, you know, the fact that he doesn't have a camo skin or anything on his tank uh, makes me think that, you know, this is, might be a new player and, you know, unfortunately we bully him. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. When you know that you got, you know, uh, the advantage over someone this is a this is a game you use that advantage <laughs> already missed me now check this out guys check i saw it already go over to the side so boom all of a sudden wow okay boom oh wow two <laughs> two arties man sitting on the td nest um I'm, i don't i gotta say i don't think i've ever seen that before uh and now i'm like <laughs> this is like this is easy damage man so we just drive up Boom! One already down. Two already down. Um, and, and <laughs> nice little spin there to turn around. Now the A46 kind of confused me. You can see where the M44 was last seen over here, but he's rushing over this way. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go help him. What's he doing? What's he doing? And right about here, I realize, oh no, he's just thinking that the Artie is over there. So put on the E brake. Come back over here. And now right there, this is when I realize I'm taking, I'm, I'm turning my camera so I can, or the mouse so I can see where the uh, the heavy's coming in, that KV-2. So we're aware of that. Now this guy's got camo on. He seems to be, you know, a smarter player, not going up on the TD thing. And I don't think you see it here, but right here I give him a little salute. And I'm just waiting to see what he does. I'm not going to shoot him right away. And then once he gets to the point where he's about to shoot me, boom, we finish him. And we get it just in time or else the, uh, the Artie would have got a shot there. I mean, right now we're sitting at, if you can see it up at the top over that way, we're sitting at 13,000 win eight. I mean, like, that's why I laugh about the, you know, the need to pad it with lights. I mean, it's just bonk, donk, donkalous, man. It's crazy. So right here, I'm going to get hit. Boom! Wasn't really too worried. I knew that the KV2, uh, I, I was pretty confident that he wouldn't be able to one-shot me there. Uh, maybe it was just being cocky. I don't know, man. So now I wait for the A46 to come around. Bam, a shot. Now he's looking away. We finish him off. Teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Uh, now I noticed that the, uh, I know that the T150 is going to be coming down off of the hill here. So I basically t take a second here just to stop and, ch and type in chat. You know, the game's done. We're just wrapping it up. I said Heavy is coming back to their base. Need help. Almost dead now, meaning I'm a one shot. Sneeze on me and I'm dead. Uh, 29 hit points. That's basically what it is, you know. Literally, <laughs> and I'm, my tank would just <laughs> fall apart. Um, so, anyways, I, I decide. Okay, it's really just me, and I'm really, unfortunately, I, I didn't notice the A46 was going in. I would have told him, hey, hold on, hold on, but he's going in trying to get some damage there, and unfortunately, he got killed. Uh, just one versus, you know, too many tanks. One versus three. So I see the Yag Panther is up on the hill there. I was hoping he'd come up to the top to spout, to snipe story. Um, but, you know, at this point I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, what, what am I going to do? No reason to spot here. Then I realize the ISU is going over the bridge. I'm like, oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and so now I'm trying to get over there before he does just to simply try to help him out, man. I'm not in. Uh, I'm not in damage mode or anything here. I'm now I'm thinking, you know, okay, guys, let me help you here. Let me get a shot or a spot for you. 
Uh, so right away, we don't know where exactly they are. So I go up to one of these bushes, which I highly recommend. They're always It's always good. Just, you know, sit in a bush, use your concealment, and just wait for them to make the bad move. Uh, the T-150 was last spotted in the very back, and I was guessing that he was still here. I, and I was pretty sure that these guys were where I, they are on the mini-map, the last spotted location. Um, but I wanted just to see, and there you go. There's the uh, the SU. Uh, I could go rushing up there and go for damage, but again, because I'm just a one-shot, I know the Yag Panther should be able to get a shot on him, and there you go, right there. The Yag Panther gets a shot while he's reloading. The Artie hits him again. Sorry. You know. <laughs> I, 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 maybe I should have let him shot or something. I don't know. But anyways, you know, when you're playing, you're just in the mode. But now I, I, I remember I'm feeling bad about it here. And uh, so I'm like, okay, let's just spot this guy. We got him. He's looking. Um, we're just going to basically just play here. I know the TD's coming right up behind me. Do, do, do. Can we track him? Nah, why bother? The guy's down the egg pan is right on me. And there you go, treads. Get the kill shot, finish the game, and that's it. All right, well, as you can see up here, the battle went really well. Uh, we got our first star, yay, <laughs> no big deal. Uh, we got a master class, and yeah, you know, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, and a bunch of credits, and, uh, and a real good amount of XP, actually. Um, yeah, you know, we basically were able to interact with almost all of the enemy. We gotta love those kind of... Uh, <laughs> I love those kind of games. And uh, let me just go up to uh, the next uh, page here. I'll just put it like that. There you go. Team. Team score. So, yeah, the M24E2. Jeez, why don't you just call the Super super Chappy? Why do we have to have an M24E? Anyways, I'm never going to remember that. Uh, it's just going to be the Super Chappy to me. So, anyways, we ended up with... Uh, what, 2,130 damage, some crazy, crazy win eight, five kill shots, and uh, the best part, because of the uh, Polar Express Marathon, <laughs> as I'm calling it, um, anyways, yeah, 13, just over 1,300 uh, XP, so that actually was a real bonus. Um, and then, uh, what did we profit from the game, you ask? Not bad, after everything, we ended up making 61,000, and uh, and that, of course, is with the premium uh, account. Um, that's why we're able to get that much. But overall, guys, um, I would really... Uh, let's just get off that. Anyways, overall, I would have to say that I'm very impressed with the chat, the Super Chaffee. Uh, thank you very much, War Gaming. I think it's a great addition to the garage. Uh, just like the T50-2. Fuck, I love that tank. Um, and also the Super Hellcat. The Super Hellcat, man, guys, we all, uh, I think most people are now really cool with it and, and are enjoying it. It took a while. Um, especially, I gotta say, when I, when we first got it, I did like it. I was, I kept saying, guys, you just gotta understand, it's not gonna be what the Hellcat once was. Meaning they're never gonna give us the speed back. The, the, if you were lucky enough to play back when the soup or sorry when the Hellcat was super, uh, before the Nerf bat hit it to death, uh, then you know what I'm talking about, and you probably enjoyed that tank a lot because it was crazy good. Um, once you realize, guys, I know you're tired of me saying it, but there's new people that watch my videos all the time, so I'm gonna keep saying it. You gotta know your strengths. Know your weaknesses. Once you realize that the Super Hellcat doesn't turn as fast, you know, you, you learn how to play differently uh, so that you can still play really good. And quite honestly, since the, uh, the new equipment came in, I got to say, man, that I know I don't like some of the pieces of equipment like that X-ray vision that the lights can play with, but the uh, Traverse Mechanism uh, piece of equipment, love it, love it. Throw that in a, in a turbo and maybe a camel net or a sniper or something into a super Hellcat and you'll love it. But anyways, back to the super chaffy. Um, guys, as a scout, this tank is really good. Really good. Um, so if you want to play it as a brawler, have at it. Um, you know, we had a good game here that is basically a brawling game. Um, and as a as a as an actual scout tank. Uh, if you do it, if you get your crew skills up, you get a camo skin on that tank and play it like a passive scout. If those three things are happening, guys, I think you'll really like the super, uh, super chaffy.
Till next time, guys, take her easy, have fun. Have fun with the, uh, as I call it, the Polar Express Marathon for the, uh, yet again, another Russian medium tank. Um, I, I don't have time to finish it. I already know I won't be finishing it. Uh, I am super stoked, though, about we're right around the corner from the uh, Christmas event, Winter Ops, whatever we're calling it this year. I don't know. Uh, but I just love it. I love the fact that the I love the loot boxes. I love the the skins that the tank skins you can get throughout the event. Uh, I love the bonus XP and credit uh, potential that you can get by uh, doing all the ornaments on the trees and everything else in your in your garage. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. When we get some more information, we'll definitely make a video about it. Until the next time, guys, I'm Mr. Beetle Bum. You guys are the best. Thank you for all the subscriptions, man, uh, and, and the support. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I'm out.